How's it going everybody? For today's video game review, we're going to be taking a look at Earthbound Zero for the NES. Now, do take into account that's not the real title, nor the real system. Earthbound Zero is actually, was only released in Japan under the name Mother. We have Earthbound, which is Mother 2 in Japan. So, this is basically an NES ported English translated port of Mother Original in Japan on an NES cartridge. Let's take a look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now playing a true epic of retro gaming, Earthbound Zero. Let me go on record by saying that not only is this one of the best games you could ever hope to own on the NES or Famicom, but it's also one of the strangest, creepiest, and most morbid on the system as well. So the game begins in- OH SHIT! <laughs> this is why you don't do drugs, kids. You'll end up getting in a fight with possessed lamps. So we beat the shit out of the lamp and win, and let's move on. Alright, time to start throwing fisticuffs with this lamp. Uh! Show that lamp what for. So, we move to our other sister's room and... Jesus Christ, this is like some real paranormal shit. Creepy doll just sliding around the floor. Time to engage in parlay! If we go over to the dresser and check on the doll sitting here, there's a music box inside of its body, and then this shit happens. Wow. Looks like our character is on LSD. We go downstairs, and our mother is freaking out and wishing that your father was home. Let's answer the phone. It's our father. And he explains there's a freaking poltergeist in the house, and that our great-grandfather used to study PSI, and that his old stuff's in the basement, but he can't remember where the key is to get into the basement, and that we have the powers of PSI within us, and now it's time to go on an adventure. Whoa, 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 slow down, buddy. This is some wicked fast plot development. Alright, let's walk outside. And we learn we can converse with certain animals. And if we check the dog, the key is on his collar. Time to venture into the depths of the basement. I bet it'll be really fun. This is horrifying. Once again, this shit is so creepy. Listen to that damned music. It's all dark and shit. Searching through our presumably dead great-grandfather's old shit in the dark with that music playing? Damn. So, we find some food, a weapon, and a diary from our great-grandfather, and now we're all ready to face the world and its many challenges. like hippies. I swear this game has the weirdest enemies and attacks and music and you know what? That's what makes this game legendary. It has a great plot, fluid and intuitive menus as well as combat, amazing music, 
it's quirky and it has the ability to go from happy-go-lucky to downright disturbing in a matter of seconds Earthbound Zero gets an easy 10 out of 10 from me. The game's perfect. It isn't too hard to get an English translated port of it for the NES, and whether you're just looking for a good NES game, you're a huge RPG fan, or a fan of just the Earthbound series altogether, let there be no question or doubt in your mind. This game rocks. Get it.